All right, welcome back. We're on to the next version of this. Uh, we've we've uh, previous videos. Just as a quick review, review, uh, we did the welcome.h, the welcome.c, the help.h, and the help.c. Of course, we modified main to take advantage of calling welcome and also calling help. So now we're going to work on the next version where we actually implement this command line interface that we have here. We're actually going to do some more work on that. So um, first, as I look at this, I'm going to change my logic here. I'm going to say that if you only have one command line argument, that is, if you've only entered main, then I'll display help and then simply return zero. Right, there's really no more to go. And that means I can remove this else statement. Now one of the advantages of watching these videos is you get to see how as the code, uh, as we continue to work on the code, we sometimes go back and change things we've implemented. And so this is a good example of that. I originally had an else, if else, but now I've decided I'm going to get rid of this else and just if you've only got the command, then I'll display help and return zero. Right, return zero because it's not an error. You just are, are seeing the, the help. And so that brings me down here and means now I've got to handle the command line interface. Right, that's my next step on this. So let's begin by going to our welcome.c and I'm going to make this our version 2. So this is going to be version 2 that we're going to be working on inside this welcome code. And we know that in the main.c what I need to do is call the command line interface to, to basically handle the command line. And before we do that, let's think about what it needs to do. It needs to check uh, essentially and see that you've entered the appropriate number of, of command options. Either you're going to do help or file or list and then it needs to handle each one of those. So I would say in this particular video our first step is to be able to, to detect if you entered help, file, or list and um, so handle that case. So with that in mind we know we want to put this in a separate file. This will be the command line interface so like we've done before I'll click on add and this file is will be cli.h and we will say cli.h cli meaning command line interface and of course we know this is the interface in fact sometimes the the architect can focus on what the interfaces are and uh, then the developer can actually implement it. It's funny how it keeps putting it lowercase. That's fine. I, I was just putting it uppercase for emphasis anyway. Now you should know at this point, because we've done it two, two times previously in the videos, header files always, always begin with hash if not def underscore underscore. And again, this is a convention I use, CLI underscore underscore. You know, just to show you can use other conventions. I think I'll do underscore underscore CLI underscore H underscore underscore. That's another another convention I've seen people use. So we'll do that one this time. And so if it's not defined, then define it. And notice I'm going to carefully copy and paste in this case. And then do a pound and if. So again, this ensures whatever comes next is only going to be included one time. And when we think about this CLI, uh, I'm going to begin by saying, well, it doesn't return anything. It's CLI for the command line interface. Uh, this is my first look at it. But when I think about it, probably I want the, the uh, command line interface to accept some parameters. In fact, as I think about it, I probably want the command line interface function to accept the integer argc as well as the character pointer argv array. So a character pointer 
to an argument array. Well, when you think, and then, then the semicolon. But when you think about it, this is the exact same parameters that come into main, right? It's the exact same parameters. And that's okay. What we're saying is that we're going to pass those same parameters into the argument, this, the command line interface, and let it handle those for us. All right, so again, this is our interface, CLI. Let's go ahead and do the implementation file, CLI.C, for imp the implementation. And again, just to stress it, CLI.C, and this is the implementation. All right, the implementation. All right, and we know what are we? What is it we're going to implement? Well, we're going to implement CLI.h, and you can probably guess we probably need to go ahead and do and include standard IO.h, because pretty much everything we've used, uh, we've needed standard IO.h, and then go back to the CLI, and we'll go ahead and copy this. So I've copied this into my buffer. And then on CLI, I'll paste it, remove the semicolon, and put the open and close curly braces. All right. So when we come into this, this is where we're, we want to handle everything. And this is another good thing of as we work through this, we can refine some of our techniques that we've done. When I go back to my main.c, one of the first thing that hits me is after my welcome, I'm actually checking this argc and calling a help and then returning zero. And But then here I am implementing the cli.h and I'm thinking, you know, really, you could argue the command line interface should handle this code. Why should it be in main? This is really a decision made by the command line interface. So I'm going to say, you know what, although we could certainly leave it like hit this and then call our CLI, I'm going to do the following. I'm going to say, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and include, include CLI.h and after I do welcome I'm going to call CLI passing in the argument count and passing the argument vector. In other words when we start up main it has an argument count and it has a vector. Well, I'm just going to pass those right into the CLI and if I do that, that means this code that I had previously, I'm going to actually um, copy that into my buffer to uh, basically delete it. And now we're just going to have a welcome and a CLI. Because when I go to my CLI.C, that code that I just deleted from the argument count, I mean from main, I can now put here. And in fact, notice when it says the argv, um, notice implicit declaration. What are you thinking? Missing header file. Well, let's include help.h. Right, that took care of that. And this is an error because it says we don't return anything. We just return turn void. So I'm going to remove this. I'm going to, re to remove it at that point. And I'll come back over to main. And I'm thinking, well, you know what? I'm no longer calling help in main, so I can delete this header file. This is how code gets written. Right? You you work on one version, you go back and modify and change uh, as you're going through. And notice how we've we've greatly simplified it. Now you can say, yeah, you're going to call main, you're going to display welcome, 
then you're going to do the command line interface. And in fact, even at this point, if we just click run, wow, that's pretty cool. It does the exact same thing our code did previously, but at least from a perspective of main, it's a little cleaner. Right, we just call it, and in fact, when we go to the CLI.C, we know that we're handling this code here. So that's pretty cool. So that takes care of the case if you've only entered the command. Well, let's take care of the next case. Now we need to handle, how about if we have these? Well, if we, if we get to this point, I would say let's return. Right, so if we only have, in fact, I'll even put the comment here, I'll say, if only have command. So if we only have the command, we're going to display the help in return. Let's check for the dash dash option. Right, the double dash option. Now the double dash option, if, if arg v of zero, and remember v stands for vector, another word for an array, another word for more than one, arg v of zero is this. Well that means that arg v of one is this. And in fact, the um, what we could do is say uh, I'm going to say character pointer uh, I'll call it the dash underscore command equals to argv of 1 in other words to make it more clear I'm saying go to argv of 1, which would be this, and let's assign this pointer to point to that. And just to prove to ourselves it works, let's do a printf and say the dash command is percent %s backslash n and give the dash command. Of course, if we run it right now, we don't see that, but if here we go period slash main dash dash help, ah, look at there, the dash command is dash dash help. Or if I run it again and I say dash dash file, ah, we got the dash dash file. So, as I've said repeatedly, write just a little bit of code and run it. That way if you have, for example, a missing semicolon, when you run it, you'll see the error right away. Go to the line number, right, line 16. Here's line 16. And it even many times points. It says, hey, I was expecting a semicolon. So the sooner you catch the errors, the better. So I'm going to comment this out. This, this helped us for understanding and learning. But here's what we want to do. We want to say if the da the and what we really want to do is see does right, let me run this let me go back and just run our code we really want to check to see if any of these are entered right if any of those are entered so I'm gonna say and what I'll do is I'm gonna take this from the uh, from the bot, I'll go dash dash list first. So I want to compare, I'm going to say if and what I want to do is compare dash dash list to what you entered. And so I believe it was in an earlier video we used a function which we'll cover more in a later lesson in more detail called string compare strcmp and when you do string compare, you give it two strings. Well, one of the strings is going to be dash dash list. Right, that's, that's this one here. And the other string is going to be, of course, our dash command. The thing 
we've got right here. Now this is a function and it returns 0 if these are equal. So if 0 is exactly equal to this, if this function when we call it returns a 0, and notice this function is inside this bigger if statement so we need another closing parentheses and then an open and close curly brace there. If this happens we'll say put string handle dash dash list and then we'll return right if we have that. Now notice we're getting here we are and you've got this down right you've got this implicit declaration what header file anytime you're dealing with strings it's going to be include string.h. Notice again the less than greater than says this is a system header file right as part of the system as opposed to project header file. So these are system header files. These with the double quotes are project header files. All right, so check for the check for that. And of course the next one if 0 is exactly equal to string compare dash dash file with the dash command. If that's the case, we'll do a put string handle dash dash um, dash dash file. Again, let's put string and then we do a return. Right, so we handled this case, we handled this. Well, you think about it, if we get here, if we get here, you either did dash dash help or you did something totally wrong. So if we get here, just display help. Right, if you get to that point, just display help. Now remember, remember again, I know I sound like a worn out record, keep saying this, but you can pause the video, stop the video, um, you can run the video fast or slow as needed to get this code, but you should definitely be following along. And at this point, if we click on run, we should have our default, but more importantly, if I do main dash dash file, cool handle file or if I say main dash dash list all right it says handle list so pretty pretty uh, pretty good here um, I would say this is probably a good place to stop this video because we've got our initial CLI.h we've got where we passed in actually two parameters to it We've got our CLI.C, where we're now handling if we only have the command itself. We're handling if you enter dash dash list or dash dash file or anything else. And we've got a very nice and clean main that's calling out to those functions. So as always, make sure you've heard running to this, to this point. And in the next video, we'll uh, make it even better. I'm Norman McIntyre. Thanks as always for watching.